Previously on Restored. Normally me and dad have had pretty good luck with getting a lot of this stuff up and running. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't I don't have a whole lot of favor with small engines. You know, lawn mowers, weed eaters, stuff like that. Uh, they just don't like me for some reason. So we should get some spark in these points in here. Uh, we're not. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just disconnect that and I'm gonna clean them points up a little bit. We did have some break, so I need to be careful on that. I hope I just nothing break those. So yeah, the part that actually runs down over here to this side, it just broke in half. So see that little metal strap there? That goes down to that. She just broke right in half. So this piece is the part that dad took off these points uh, right here. So whatever they were for, they are no more. <laughs> I put a rubber band on it? <laughs> I wonder if you could. Something just to kind of, you know what I mean? Just need something like to do that, close the back. I can see the comments now. <laughs> it's actually working. Yeah. Here comes the comments. Here comes the comments. Y'all are stupid. What are y'all doing? <laughs> if, if it cranks up, he's a genius. try to adjust some points a little bit more and then we're gonna have to call it good if that don't work and I don't know we've tried a, uh, tried a different coil it should be sparking down there but it's it's just not for some reason uh, we'll probably come up here tomorrow and tinker with it and it'll right start sparking like we need yeah. it to probably so maybe she's just a little camera shy so I remember it's all in God's timing so yeah yep. it just wasn't meant to be tonight so when we left off last night, uh, you guys know we fought these points for about two hours, the whole video of messing with them. Uh, never were getting any firing on them. Uh, so we pulled them back off this morning to kind of check them out. Uh, eager to try to hear this thing run, we did discover something that we were, we were, we were grounding out on the points here. So Dad, we, you can kind of show them what we've got going on here. <laughs> okay. What we had is we, we added this little uh, metal strip right here to help give it the spring there. Uh, from what it was on the old one, it had a more narrow gap right there where the boat went through. And this wider one, this one here had a wider one, so it was actually going around that part right there where it should have been going up over, I mean, keeping it off of the metal, but it wasn't, it was going metal to metal. Yeah, so we were just grounding out here yeah. at the base on the motor, so it was just constantly grounding out where the points, when they open and close, uh, or the contacts, uh, whatever you want to call them, it was just staying grounded out the whole time. So, uh, yeah, Christian, you can switch it back. So what we're gonna try to do is, uh, we didn't mention here that that little red piece is a little <laughs> piece. Homemade washer. Yeah, a homemade washer dad cut out of a Coke bottle lid. So we just needed something that was a little bit thick plastic uh, to separate those two. So we're gonna try to piece these back together, put them up on there, and see if maybe if we can get some fire at the end with them. It then. Well guys, welcome back to I guess what you'd call round two of the fight with this little <laughs> Izetta car here. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all were able to catch uh, part one of the video last night. Uh, we tried to get this car up and running and we just it just wasn't having it. Uh, we I, The points broke right off the bat as you just saw there and I think for almost the whole video of two hours we just fought back and forth on trying to get those to work so uh, ended up you know one of those videos where we ended up having to you know wave the white flag of of being defeated or feeling defeated anyways right. and uh, I don't know how how they were but all night I was just trying to you know what could we do and dad found some parts and uh, about a hundred dollars you know we can get the parts but which is no big thing we're, we're going to order them but about three weeks of downtime of waiting on to, to get here. So we were going to get a condenser, we were going to get new points, and go ahead and get a new cool as well. So uh, we got up here this morning and tried to think it out, or thinking of what we could possibly do that to make it a little headway, what was possibly going wrong, 
and uh, you guys saw it there. So we found out that our points were just grounding out. Uh, it was missing a little, uh, well, not really missing, just the way we had that piece we wedged in there, it was grounding out. So right. I don't know, I think you come up with the idea. Yeah, of <laughs> yeah we, uh, we took a little old Coke bottle cap, cut the center out of it and put a little hole in the middle of it, makes a little homemade plastic washer. Yeah, so we just needed a little plastic washer to keep it from grounding between there. Uh, we turned it over and saw it sparking and we were like, cut this, let's go live, let's see, let's see how far we can get today. Because I know, I know there was a lot of y'all that invested two hours of y'all's time to see this up and running. So I know it's a little bit gutsy to try to move forward on this to see what happens, but uh, hey, uh, we, were, we were trying to do it last night, so why not try to go ahead and do it today? Good, good way to end your week, I guess, hopefully. Hopefully, yes, <laughs> yes. But now, uh, I, we also talked, this has been a lesson for me, uh, just, you know, I was trying to focus so much on how we could fix this, how I could figure this out, and kind of neglected the fact of, you know, giving it all to God and allowing Him to, you know, we prayed on the 35 Ford, y'all, you guys saw it, yeah. we prayed and it, it cranked right up right after that, so a lot of the times we try to put our, ourselves in places to, to do things that we just ain't quite capable of doing, and as Dad closed that video out last night, it's God's timing, not ours. So that's most definitely true. So let's pick back up where we left off. We've got Christian here again. She's mic'd up. <laughs> She'll be kind of following around trying to read off some comments. Uh, we want to see if we're getting fire to the spark plug now. So we know it's getting to the points. Let's make sure it's sending it to the spark plug. Uh, we'll try to grab the GoPro, show that the best we can, and see where this video goes today. <laughs> You want me to just hold it or you want me to see? They uh, want to see spark or they want to see my hair stick up? <laughs> so we'll use this GoPro here to try to show. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to do this. Best way to. I can, I can do it. If you want to hold the GoPro there, I guess we probably need to make sure we're even. <laughs> it's even trying first, but. Oops. Oh, that magnet pulled it down. I thought you, I thought you squatted down on the wire, so. Uh, the magnet kept pulling it towards the vehicle. So, Christian, if you want to pop it to the side here real quick. Yeah. So right now, uh, last night we left off. We had a, 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 just another cool we took off of, a, or we bought for Pacer, I believe Dad said. So we were trying to wire in that cool because we felt like this one might not have been working, just trying different things, just trying to make any kind of headway. Uh, the little rubber band here, she's, she's still working for us. But we've got it, we went ahead and wired it back into this factory cool right now just to see if that works. If not, uh, we will switch it over to the other. But I kind of wanted to use what we got here because that's what it was designed to have. So uh, we've got it ran, just a wire straight to the, the positive side on that. I'll hook it straight into this battery since all of our wiring's messed up. And then we'll just jump it across like we have been. So we'll see what she does. I was sitting here holding myself in a certain position that I didn't even need to be in <laughs> trying to. All right, here we go, myself. guys. Ready? Anything? Uh oh. Yeah. We got GoPro going out. Cutting in and out. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, can you hold them cords? Yeah, oh, right. you can. <laughs> yeah, I think I can. You need help? Was it something? sparking or no? Yeah, it was sparking. Sparking? Yeah, it got a good spark. Try it again, Christian. Okay. Here yeah, we today go. we have technology problems. Yeah, as always. <laughs> oh, ah. <going> out. <laughs> All right. The world. You need me to hold something? Yeah, come over here and hold yeah. this. Oops. All right. You can probably even film from where on the other side or whatever. Yeah. Just be able to switch to that angle. Okay. I can. Might be able to hold it there if you can see it. Yeah, one second. Hold this real quick. Well, we are getting fire, guys. I don't <laughs> know if we should try this hard to show you. <laughs> I think you'd probably believe us if uh, we can't, but here, I'll hold it like that. You got it? Yep. Okay. There we go. Let's try this. Third time's a charm. Trying to figure out the best way of holding it. Here we go. Hold <laughs> out again. Oh, I see it. Yep. There you go. So yeah, it looks like we're getting pretty good fire yep. there at the plug. Speaking of fire, this GoPro's fire. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so we know that we are getting fire to our plug now, so our cool is somewhat working. Uh, hopefully it'll stay lasting. Let me disconnect it here. Uh, the longer it has power, just it's basically like if you would have just turned your key on and just left it on, it's sending juice to that cool the whole time. So sometimes they can overheat and burn up. So we most definitely don't need other parts uh, not working for us today. Okay. Thank you, Eugene's Backyard Repair, for the $2 Super Chat. Said towards Advil after yesterday's fight. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was pretty discouraging. It was... Mm -hmm. Hey, it taught me a good lesson, though. So, Christian here, let's pop it over on the GoPro again. Yeah. So, right here, here's the, <laughs> here's the two uh, superheroes, the, the Coke bottle lid and then the rubber band here. I'm trying to try to show you guys if you can see. There's the little center part right there. It was, uh, it was just grounding off and going to the base of basically the whole engine there and just uh, losing all of our, our pop in the, in the points. So our It pop. doesn't get more <laughs> redneck than that. Yeah, that is true. So right now, uh, this fast into the video, we're only 11 minutes into it. I think we're at the spot where we're going to go ahead and try to shoot a little, uh, probably a little carb cleaner through here and just see if it tries to sputter or, or what it tries to do for us here. I could have showed you where it was sparking down here on the points, but I mean, obviously y'all know that it is when it's sparking there at the, at the spark plug. So That rubber band's kind of in the way. I yeah. can cut that if you want me to. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get a little carb cleaner and just spray up in here and... Uh, we may have to figure out something else on this rubber band if we get get it to go uh, because we kind of need to put that fan yeah. back on there. So we had to remove a fan to get to those points yesterday. Let's get a little carb cleaner and see what she does. You ready? Yep. Okay. You go ahead and come on, girl. Uh -oh. <laughs> and just like that. Come on. I think I'm, I may have choked. Probably don't take a lot of fuel. But I ain't turning over the greatest. I don't know if our ground has come loose some or. We switched out our batteries because we, we turned it over a little bit yesterday and wanted, this one was straight off the charger, but we may have to go to that little bit bigger battery, which it don't take much to turn this over. Come on. I think we're still flooding. It's hard to control right. any less than uh, that right there, so. Uh, but hey, we got her to pop off a little bit. I know that she's, I mean, in my book, I would say that she does run, but it's definitely not running. So right. it's, it's trying to. When I spray this carb cleaner in there, a lot of people say, oh, well, you, you know, it won't burn off carb cleaner. We, we run almost all of them off carb cleaner the first time we right. crank them up. So it most definitely will run off of it. But I'm having trouble. As small as this carburetor is, it's not going to take a lot of fuel to make it, you know, to run. So I'm, I'm afraid I'm spraying too much in it. So I would say we'd probably go ahead and try to uh, gravity feed some fuel in here. We may end up having to pull this carburetor off to see what's going on with it. But if we can get some, fu some fuel inside the carburetor in this bowl here, maybe it'll try to just it allow the fuel to be the amount it needs and I'm not fighting it with this. What about a... Uh, a, a rag or something with some gas on it maybe sucks in there yeah we probably could i've cranked go-karts that way right. before i mean I just, it's just a thought i mean yeah we can go, we're still gonna have to hook the gas gas tank up to yeah, it yeah we'll try that i'll try to just soak down a little rag with some gas you think or? yeah so yeah Good back in the day <laughs> Some of the first stuff that I would have been working on is go kart So uh, sometimes you got to basically kind of what you're doing here is in a way priming it, just kind of letting, allowing it get some gas in there to, to start it. But we don't have fuel run to this, so this 
if it works, will be constantly prominent. But anyways, you can just wet a rag sometimes on an old go-kart, motorcycle, small engine, the air filter <laughs> yeah, yeah. sometimes, and it'll just suck it because that carburetor, when it's turning over, it's sending, sending exhaust out, but it's also sucking through that carburetor, so it may just try to suck up a little bit of gas off this rag and run maybe. Uh, regardless, if we want to see it idle, we're going to have to get some fuel right. ran to the carburetor. Hopefully it don't suck the rag in. Yeah. Hang on tight. Thank you, Eugene Backyard Repair, for the $2 Super Chat. So Tours Energizers works on that rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know, pop it back over here on the mower, Christian. Okay. I don't know how well they can see. You got my little rag here. I'm going to try to keep it from going in there, and hopefully I've got her doused enough. If not, i got good gas smell on my hands. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, so it, it, it ran that yeah. time. That's down. crazy because it's not even really wet. Right, <laughs> it right, shows yeah. how. So I mentioned the other day this thing is advertised to have got 70 to 80 miles per gallon. So the this fumes. thing is almost, it's, it's literally like it's just dry again. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just running off fumes basically. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ready? I may douse it down a little bit more in case it. What's crazy though is we were so close last night. It just took a little bit of, you know, thinking something out, looking at something. It's hard to kind of, when you're live and you've been fighting the same thing, it's, it's kind of hard to just sit down and slow down and think about stuff and, uh, and kind of keep, keep everything going as well. Yeah. So. And a lot of it is us thinking about, you know, we're letting down right. know, people watching us. They're sitting here watching this and we're, we're just not that spot where we thought we was or should have been on it so all right don't want to choke it out too Like you've run out of gas, be like, hey, man, all I need is my rag doused down. <laughs> yeah. If you can just douse down my rag, I can make it home. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I said, this thing is pretty much shop towels soak up stuff pretty good, but I'd have never thought yeah. she'd sit there. And I wish I, so let's try one more time, and I'll see if you can get in there and rev it up. So okay. the way this is designed, the throttle cable, pop it over here, Christian. Okay. On that. So, yeah, uh, let me get the GoPro here. Okay. So on our throttle cable here, uh, it actually just comes through the top of the carburetor. So there's no way of really, um, you know, revving it out yep. here because there's a cable that runs down through this it's, shaft. It's just a little cylinder type yep, thing that slides up there. There's a little cylinder down. that goes up and down. So hopefully that's not froze up. We did uh, spray the, the pedal with some penetrating oil. So it, it, it is beginning to work. You can try it out real quick just to... Slight movement. Slight, slight movement. So... We're going to see if we can get it running, and then Dad will race to the front. Or maybe Christian. You could rev it. Yeah. You could rev it. Once we get it running, just kind of give it a little gas okay. on the gas pedal. So. I'm going to put it on the wide angle. Is that okay? Yeah, you can put, or you can put it on the inside, either one. Yeah, forgot about that angle. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Gas pedal is the one that's going to be closest to you right there. The how, smallest how one. To... Just reach down okay. and do it with this right here? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get in it. I was, I was thinking there ain't no seat. <laughs> right. Here we go. All right, go ahead. Give it a sec. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let it run for just a little bit before you try to, okay? okay? All right. 
trying to get the right air and <laughs> rag mixture. <laughs> Because I'm here. I was holding it just right last time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's, I don't want to overheat that thing trying mm -hmm. to start it. So let's try to get some gas down into the carburetor where we're not running it off a rag. Right. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. I'm going to jump on some comments real quick while Dad's hooking that up. We're just going to do, use our faithful gravity, uh, gravity feed tank there. Oops. So, Christian, you want to switch it over? Yes, and... I can. So, someone said computer was acting up. I hope not. Uh, trying to read some comments. I think that uh, his computer is. Oh, gotcha. Up, he says. So he someone said it's a simple carb. Just take it apart and clean it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that if we have to. We're just going to try to feed some fuel into it right now. That's what Dad's hooking it up for us. Uh, see what it does. Most of the time, them old, uh, you know, carburetors have been set up. Hopefully, this one's been set up empty and there was no fuel in it that to gum up. But who knows? So, setting up for 50 years. So it's that's a long time. I'm surprised it would even even move anything on the guts on the inside of it. So, uh, Country Boy Gas Garage said, I knew you guys would get it. So, <laughs> thanks for the confidence. Yeah, we weren't so sure at one point. <laughs> Got it hooked up? I'm hooked up. Uh, Nothing? Not coming out anywhere? Not flooding nowhere. Have you but, taken, sometimes that thing will kind of oh, vacuum lock vacuum itself. Up. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that it's right. not stuck in the down. Right. You may not be letting no fuel yep. in it. Uh, here, let's switch so uh, sides. I'll let you do that, and I'll hold the rack here and hold this as well. I guess this thing I could probably just set up in here, though, huh? Yeah, if, I, if I'd have thought, I'd have ran it through there. Right. They could have had the gravity feed. I can still do that. Eh, I'll just hold it for right now. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves if we got to <laughs> take the carburetor off. Ready? Yep. Well, now it's coming out. Wish I could reach it. Let off out. Christian, we're going to yep. need a little help. Okay. <laughs> If it was just a little closer, I could have. I don't like turning that starter over that long with these right. old Dyna start units. They normally burn up them brushes pretty quick, so we want to give it a little break every once in a while. All righty. Go ahead. When it cranks. Okay. If it cranks. Give it some gas. Long <laughs> timing. Yeah. Just now, now probably just kind of you hold it down. Come on. Well, seemed like we stepped backwards once we hooked that yeah. up. You can't tell if there's any gas going through there or not. You said we may end up having to just pull it off, but I... Do you hold something? No, let's run this differently. We're kind of okay. we're kind of using ourselves in the spot where we don't really need to have to be working. We're going to run this where we where we don't have to balance the gas tank up here. Uh, Thank you, Eugene Backyard Repair, for the two dollar super chat. Said. Off to work, you all catch the rerun though. Thanks, Eugene. Wait a minute, don't turn it down yet. Okay.
Yeah, 20, 25 minutes into it, I believe I'd, the points had just broke on the first episode. Yeah. So we do have a running. I don't know how far we want to. I would love to hear it idle and rev. Mm -hmm. uh, got really high hopes of actually seeing it move, but I don't know about that. <laughs> So now we won't have to, we're just allowing the gas, that's how this would have been set up anyways. It didn't have a fuel pump, it just had a gas tank that just allowed gravity to feed down in there. So it don't need a lot of fuel pressure or anything like that. So um, I can go in there and play with the pedal now at least right. and try to. That battery, I'm just not real crazy about that one. It seems like it's. No, we may have to go back over to the other one. I'm going to kind of get over here, so. Come on, girl. Ready? Ready for us, yep. <laughs> five minutes longer than we should have turned it yeah. over. <laughs> you want to pull this carburetor off and we'll spray some carb cleaner through it and just kind of check it out real quick. Bit. So we're going to go ahead and pull this carburetor off, try to clean it up a little bit. Uh, just see what it looks like on the inside anyways. About to spill a little gas around here, so be all right. Find a rust hole to stick that back up through. All right, so I'm going to unscrew the top. Thank you, Revstoration, for the $10 Super Chat. Says the BMW rubber band is rare. Hopefully she pops off <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, we're going uh, to provide them with the part number on that thing, too. That way they can start <laughs> selling them, and maybe we can make a little extra money. That old uh, needle in that thing's kind of rusty. You're going to take the whole thing off, I guess? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull the whole deal off. Okay. I don't know. It's about a 13, I'm guessing. Maybe it Maybe a little smaller, yeah. There's a 13 to try. If not, I... No, it's a 13. Okay. Pretty. Looks pretty simple to pull this thing off here, so... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> See what other kind of little house, household items we can. Uh, yeah, we've used a rubber band and a and a coke cap. Uh, now we need, well, I guess a shop rag. <laughs> oh, I just can't go out and get it that. You got to use what you got. Well, they make that one right there almost impossible. Get at. You only get a quarter of a turn, too. If you get that. Yeah. I was going to say, it'll probably be the one where the, the whole bolt and everything will thread out instead of the nut just coming off. I hate it when it does that, and especially if you have to have that completely off. And I see where it went. Nate, <laughs> Nate asked, Lance, did you ever check the title to see what year this is? No, I sure didn't. All I did was was think about what it could be and that was making those points not fire. Uh -huh. in out right here. I'm probably doing a terrible job of showing y'all. So we're going to pull this top part or pull this part and look inside this uh, right here and see what she looks like. Oops. She's a little gassy. Trying 
trying to think of what we can use just to set. You probably move that battery off and use that thing there. Set pieces on. Yeah. I hate to just set it over here, but we're not going to have it there that long. So this has been the second. Uh, this has been the second Isetta we've done a live on that has taken two parts to actually get it running. So, if y'all haven't seen that uh, that first Isetta one, it was with a, I think a 1957 BMW Isetta. Uh, we've got some footage of it. Be sure and go and check it out. Uh, the motor was locked up solid in it. It had a bunch of dirt in the cylinders and. <laughs> oh, I was thinking she's doing it to me again. Mm -mm, I had a bunch listening. of I had a bunch of dirt in the cylinders and the heads, so uh, we were encouraged by y'all to go ahead and tear it apart on that one. So we basically part one was tearing apart that motor to, just to see why it was stuck so bad, and then on uh, part two we got a different motor we had around here and put on there. It's a Volkswagen engine put on there and had to change out the flywheel and stuff like that to make it work. Got it up on there and put a distributor in it. It was missing a distributor and got it running on part two. So both of those videos were pretty hard. So far, part one was a struggle on this one. Part two hasn't been so bad. Uh, they've got the float, but they've got it adjusted way low. So when it, it doesn't take in but that much gas for it, right. it tells it to shut off. I can take a little hook, slide that up. It's just um, Give us more, yeah, more sure. bowl uh, area to fill up. Let me see if I can grab a hook real quick. Sure is nice to hear this thing run. It's not as loud as I thought it'd be, which I haven't been able to get a good rev out of it, just a good idle so far. So. We got our little workbench here. We're trying to tear this apart on. So I'm adjusting the float. It's just a couple little wires pinched together, kind of up on this shaft of this this thing here. I don't want to spread them anymore. That way, it keeps a good grip. But I got it to come up about a quarter of an inch. Don't poke your finger. Put a little blood in the gas. <laughs> What's the get? Can you tell what the gas? It's probably just that that we put in there, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so. You can go ahead and pour it out. Yeah, it's not bad looking. So we're gonna also take some carb cleaner and spray through any of the holes where the gas flows through and stuff like that in case something's somewhat stopped up. So I'll go. Well, I got it right here. By the time I get it to start to slide up, it slips on me. Yeah, we went ahead though. We've got some points and a condenser and all that stuff that we're going to get for it. And <laughs> so we can lose the rubber band and the Coke bottle lid and all that go ahead and take it right good here. stuff. Here at the bottom. Someone said, sounds like my Briggs and Stratton lawnmower. Yeah, it's <laughs> little 12 horsepower, one cylinder motor. Supposedly push this car down the road 55 miles an hour at uh, 70 miles per gallon. That's the easy way to do it that way. I've got it lifted all, you want it any higher than that? No. Okay. A little trash in the gas. We're going to spray it out real good with this uh, go ahead and do that while I've got carb it. cleaner real here. Right my eye. <laughs> I was about to say, go wide, Christian, because he might accidentally get it in his face. Yeah. Sure enough, did.
Hard to tell where everything goes, ain't it? Yeah, I don't want to. It looks fairly. Oh, that's going to get me right in the eye every time. <laughs> We've got about 700 people watching. Thanks for everybody that's joined us today. I know it's kind of a strange time of the day to be doing a live, but uh, it being Friday, I think we've our family's all got things we're going to be doing, so we just wanted to jump on it, especially like we literally just, <laughs> just <laughs> got those points sparking. We're like, Christian, put together a recap and let's go live. I'm going to clean this needle up some. Okay. Yeah, if you're watching from the Alt Driver Facebook page, uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out as well. So, uh, And if you're watching from the YouTube channel, be sure and go and check them out and give them a like and a follow on their page. <laughs> Stan says, you going to mow the grass with that thing when you're done? <laughs> That'd be pretty neat if you could do something like that. Hey, we do have an old, uh, well, not old. It's not old, but it's... Uh, uh, a really cool racing lawnmower, and it's like a legit uh, racing lawnmower. Like it's got racing slicks. It has, I think, it even had wheelie bars on the back of it and everything. I drove it when when we got it. It hasn't ran in years because it had. The problem is it has the same setup here, and the throttle cable broke. So I need to find a throttle cable on it. And uh, man, if it's just like this, we might borrow it. <laughs> yeah. I I took the back when we had like uh, what were they called like. Jar Garmin or Garmin GPS or Jarmin. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was holding one of those on the highway out here trying to see if it was going, it went 50 miles an hour. So we may have to do a will it run on that thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch him because he was try trying to drive, steer one handed and hold that, that GPS thing with the other. And then I'm thinking, he's, he's fixing to kill himself. And if you've ever, you know, you know, a lawnmower, the front end is set up basically like a go kart is. They're, they're not. <laughs> not the greatest steering setup, so no, I'm not it, tightening that. Excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt. It was uh, you interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same setup, so the steering was no better than a regular lawnmower, and then plus going 50 miles an hour. I don't know what kind of engine setup they have going on on that thing. Probably an Isetta. Yeah. So we do know if you're ever messing with an Izetta that's been parked a while, go ahead and buy you some points because this is the second one that's happened to me on. Uh, you want to work the pedal while I've got this out and I can see if, any, if that's moving. You working it? Yep. No, it's not moving. Let me unscrew it real quick. So that could have been part of our issue as we weren't getting any kind of a... It may just be moving the... We may the have, outer part yeah. down low. Thank you, Jimmy Jackson, for the $25 super chat. Said, buy some more car cleaner. <laughs> you doing it? Yeah. It's not moving nothing. Let me see if I can lay here and see if I can find it. the other end. Let's see what's going on down here. We're not getting any, uh, our pedal was moving in there, but it's not actually moving this needle inside here, so. We need to get that working, even if we have to take it loose from the pedal and do it a different way. I took it loose from the pedal, but we froze up. Froze up, you need some. Yeah, some kind of. PB Blaster WD-40 or something? Yep. And a flashlight. Flashlight, I got a special going two dollars and fifty cents, and then PB <laughs> blasters, dollar fifty today. Okay. So twenty-five dollars on the carb cleaner. I didn't catch that part, so thanks for that. I said it. <laughs> I heard you say carb uh, something about carb cleaner, but yeah. So yeah, that'll get us. That'll get us some more. Our friend Eugene sent us a bunch of uh, starting fluid. Still nothing moving here. 
So you're on the cable, though? Yeah, I'm pulling the cable. And it is the one that went, not the clutch, right? It's the one that went to the gas. Yep. Nothing here. I don't know what a person could do to... Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's why. <laughs> here we go, guys. He's trying to work the pedal in there. And, uh... <laughs> I got the other end of it. So, but actually it's not broke. It must have been, it must have been in two pieces here. So we're, I'm going to try to see if we can work it right here. Okay. You got your PB blaster. Yeah, but it's $6 a can now. <laughs> then went up. Yeah. I bet it, I bet it's not going to take much. We're just going to have to rev it with uh, <laughs> something a little bit more interesting than a gas pedal. Got something. Pull it with. Uh, pliers of some sort. It's needle nose. Does that work or you want pliers? Uh, needle nose should work. Needle nose and pliers. Let me grab that end. And... Oh, we're doing something there. Working? Yep. yep, we're working there. All right. Man, this is so taking me back to my go-kart days. One time my <laughs> throttle cable broke on it and uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell these stories of people like, man, he's the king of rigging stuff. I had just a string ran back there and just had it right here beside me, and so I'd just pull it and give it gas like that. About to fall off there. So now we're going to put this back together. Uh, had we have known that, we might have been able to got her to try to crank a little better last time. I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up on this end so I don't forget it, because I will forget All right. it. Now you can watch me get sprayed in the face here. Try to make sure we're as clean as we can be down in there. Certain way that'll fit down in there. Yeah, it's got a little notch. Yep. All right. How are we doing on time? We are at 43 minutes exactly. So. 43 minutes. All right, so we're going to pop this thing back on here and uh, try it now. Hey, that makes it easier though, because we can rev it from back here, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe a little easier. Makes it harder to drive, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, we hook a string to it. <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> you you had your experiences with go-karts, so did your mom. She, uh, first time she ever rode one of your go-karts, she, she was driving it down the road and the clutch slung off, hit her in the back of the head. <laughs> she went straight to the ditch. That doesn't so. sound like a very nice story. You had to be there. I better hope mom don't watch this one because the dad's laughing a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. I felt really bad for her. Yeah, sure. I remember that though. Uh, I don't remember that happening, but I remember my go kart having a cover to, to like hide the or like guard the clutch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Though. Yep. I think it's raining. Yeah. Outside, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't mess with our internet. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, gas on my knee. Okay, I have to take you to the doctor. You got fluid on your knee. Huh? You think it's gonna rev? Oh, yeah. Today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the next 40 years. We've had it running, so it's just a matter of... I think, yeah. I... We got a lot of comments asking for a burnout in it. <laughs> <laughs> that might be hard with that. Burn out like or, that. like, burn down? I was to say, with as much gas as <laughs> around here, and I've got the battery sparking and stuff right here, <laughs> it may be more of a burn up. Man, I wish I could get that in there. Get one more turn on it. This thing is hard to film for you guys to see. I, I, I realize that. I'm like covering it up. I was trying to get a little bit more on that, but it, it's perfect, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we need to run the 
We're going to rerun the gas. Yeah, we're going to rerun the gas now that we got her pulled apart and somewhat cleaned up. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, I don't know if that's an old muffler or gas tank. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> well, if they're wanting us to burn, burn it up or whatever they're talking about, yeah. Burn you up with it. Uh, Probably get a rag. There is a little bit of some sparking going on here. Yeah. Not necessarily the safest thing in the world. Get us some shop towels real quick. Oh, yeah. We've seen how those work. Yeah. Cleans the concrete pretty good. Yeah. So you have to lay uh -oh. down. Something stuck. I'm afraid that, <laughs> afraid that float's too, too high. Something, huh? So, that's not good. Yeah. Thing is, we can do some of it from above here, so. Raining. It's getting too much fuel going everywhere now. It's pumping out everywhere. Oops. Dad was trying to raise the float on it to make a hot rod out of it, I guess. Yeah. It's... Down a little bit more. Like I said, it's. Someone said, should just, should just run, uh, run off the fumes from the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You talked about how it barely ran. That ought to run for weeks. Yeah. We can just rig up a pan, a catch pan up yeah. underneath it. And <laughs> Be good to go. Thank you, Mechanic Kid, for the uh, donation. 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 <laughs> Maybe she won't run out on us now. Looking good. All right. We may have to switch this battery out, guys, for too long, but. You want to go ahead and do it now? Nah, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay. Uh, Unless you want to. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, we'll try it out. Thank you, Jeff, for the $20 super sticker. Let's see what I can do here. Ugh, no, this ain't working. It's hard. I'm going to need two pairs. <laughs> Let me get a pair of little. Uh, vice grips to hold that with. Vice grip in the house. <laughs> All right. This is how we're going to rev it. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay. Idle. 
They want it to. It's just not quite warmed up enough. Well, guys, she's officially running now, like Dad said. Pretty good. Getting a little smoky in here, too. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that's not messing with our cameras quite yet. Let's try to... Uh, do we need to put that fan back on it? I hate to not put it on there and that thing get... So we're only 50 minutes into this video. Uh, Y'all hung out two, two hours yesterday and we, yeah. <laughs> we didn't get anything. Watch me stand in front of a camera messing with this motor. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to reroute our... So what, we've, what we're running into here is this BMW part number on this band right here is probably for the wrong year model. So yeah. it's not going to allow this <laughs> fan to clear. Um, and we're not at that point where we're trying to rig it and bend fan blades out. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to try to get a different rubber band to go stay inside here, maybe. Should uh, increase the horsepower a little bit, too, <laughs> uh, with a little bit tighter rubber band. Uh, That's exciting. See, it was a little louder than what I thought it would It's got a mean growl. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? this little bitty car is like yeah. pulling up somewhere? We did cheat a little bit, just a little earlier. I did run to the parts store <laughs> and uh, got some uh, uh, some parts, the original part from the Dollar General. So, I mean, we told you guys we didn't have no parts for this thing, <laughs> and we had trouble finding the other parts to replace it about three weeks out. So there's nothing around here to get for these little cars. Get out of there. I'm going to keep that. Yeah. yeah. Hang it on the wall. <laughs> I may wear that around my wrist. You want me to do the honors? Or? Well, yeah. <laughs> you got any You got any small ones that are red? No, go fish. <laughs> uh, that little so blue picky one. now. <laughs> At the beginning, there was any band you could find. Oh, that one complements the car color good. That's what I was thinking, yeah. I think we should go with that one. <laughs> hmm. Do we have any smaller ones? Yeah, we got smaller ones. Than this? Yeah. Okay. This uh, one's a little long. Maybe Chas too says, small. I think you can get tires at Harbor <laughs> Freight. You know what you could do is you might could have found some big enough for, like, what we have on my car. It's almost uh, we, the same size. We used mini bike tires before. That, I think that's, they're that's not smaller. I think they're tens or something. Tens yeah. or twelves. Nothing I thought, smaller. I thought I had a little small one a while ago. Is that the only ones you got? Uh I mean that one's small. I've got some just... that are <clears throat> I hate it whenever they send you a kit and they send you sizes <laughs> for everything. I can make this one work. Restoration says that the red one would look faster, so yeah. we should do that. Let's one. go with the red then. I agree. That's <laughs> why I, I think we need a red. But these are all the same size. All so the red ones are too big. Yeah, they're too big. You know, you could tie a knot in it. Uh, do that then. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know how, how to tie a knot. I just don't know what's going to work best. To... How big a knot? I mean, how? Uh, just a twelve horsepower one. Okay. <laughs> I calibrated it and everything to get it to that point. Get in there. The reason why we're having to use this rubber band, if you're curious, is the the points have broken <laughs> half, and so we tried to we did kind of fix it in a way. What we did had to ha had to be done. But it's not springing back all the way. But she sure is now. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody needs any uh, BMW Isetta before <laughs> part, we do have a bag of them here. Before we put that fan back on, I want to see it okay. uh, try. Because it looks like they're not closing quite all the way. But it's pretty close. <laughs> We are dripping a little bit. Richard out of says you should do a subscriber giveaway uh, <laughs> for the rubber band. <laughs> that's that's worth worth too much for us now. I needed another day. Well, it's, like I said, the second time it's happened to us on the Izetta. So yeah, I might need <laughs> it on the next one. Yeah, I don't know who's 
Who's going to be the first to say they seen an Isetta run off of a rubber band? But yeah. Well, we definitely seen it happen. All right, guys, here we go again. Doesn't sound like it, does it? Mm -mm. Sounds like our battery's getting really, I don't know. We're gonna go for more fire. Do you need to double up on the band? That might not be a bad idea. Now, for some reason, it doesn't look like they're quite opening good. That's gonna be something. You'll finally get rid of this car one day and not do anything else with it, but leave it like that. And someone's gonna be like, what in the world? Like, how does that even work? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna need another band. All right. Maybe even a little, the knot a little bit. Well, I don't know if that's gonna make it any shorter. A little tighter or a little? Yeah, I need it tighter. Okay. I need the rubber band shorter. Okay, we can do that. It's not quite strong enough to pull it back the way it needs to. Someone says, keep in mind when it heats up, it's going to melt off the rubber band. So. It might. But I'd rather know we get our fan back on there if we can. Right. Being that this is air cooled, that actually made it. Uh, well, I can do it. Yeah, I see. I had a few people saying our video is lagging a little bit. Could be the rain. I bet it's the rain. Sorry, guys, if we're losing, getting a little bit behind on the Internet. We've got a, a rainstorm coming through here right now, so I, we may be close to wrapping it up. I, I'd like to see if we can get it in gear and see what it does. I'd like to see it idle. Ready? Yep. Them, but. It's the, uh, that's not touching back there, is it? We're not grounding. Uh -uh. Uh, let me, let me try this other thing that. You want to see if it's getting sparked? Yeah, I'm gonna, we got this other thing that Eugene sent. Kind of acts like we're not getting fire again, so I might have to go back to that other rubber band. Yeah. <laughs> and ain't nobody getting it. <laughs> Selling with the car. Uh, let's see. Ready? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. No. no. We're not getting nothing. Well, we got a hot there. Why are we not getting it here? I'm gonna well, it shouldn't make any difference. They're closing like they need to be. But I'm gonna hook it back up. Make sure it just may have a little bit more strength. Pulling in the right, pulling direction. right direction, I started yeah. to say. Could be the same that. time you said. Try it again. I can I can see it in there. If I... Yeah, <laughs> just pulling in the wrong direction. So let's just try. Uh, we're just trying to let it warm up. We won't let it run too terribly long. I'd rather know that than we get to go back yeah. to fighting. She just wants that rubber band on there, guys. It's a lucky one. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a jack and jack this uh, rear end up and see if it'll uh, go in gear and stuff. 
if I can get a jack between those <laughs> them wheels. Yeah. You can find a jack. Uh, I have Somewhere no right idea. There. Where? Right there, in front of you. I think I'm gonna have to go in from the side. Cause it's not the the back wheels are almost right beside each other. You can't even fit a jack between them. Coastal Auto Reaction wants to know how much compression it has. I have no idea. <laughs> All of it, huh? Good to see you on here, Luke. That side up. Uh, yes, it's up. Okay. We're going to pull these out. Um, or we can try to put it in gear and see if the transmission works on this thing. Very optimistic. Very optimistic. We've already right. run one time and now we're already, <laughs> we're already driving it. Uh, let's go. He's going to try to put it in gear. Yeah. I don't know about the clutch marks. No. Not work? No. Nope. Oh, it ain't working? No, let me just try to... Don't okay. move at all? Move some. There it is. Oh, it man. It. Went in gear, yeah. yeah. We'll try it again. Uh, so the clutch ain't working? Yeah, it is, yeah. It was kind of, I was just in the wrong position to be pushing the way I needed to. Well, uh, I figured you'd set in it and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. try it again. If we can get it to idle, I wish it would idle where I could actually try to set in it. Go ahead. It does work. It does move. It's smoking up in here. I don't know. That motor's it's like. It kind of got a little jello <laughs> kinda, Yeah, it kind of got a little wiggle to it. I think that's, you kind of got to scoot it a little bit out of kilter here and <laughs> it works. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I mean, she's running. She's turning over, or she's the shifting in at least. Probably that was probably first gear, I guess. I'm assuming. Was you trying for any other gear? No. <laughs> I, I heard it hit some other thing. You yeah, know? I did hit the. Uh, Something else as I was going back trying to hit neutral. So. This is one of the tires that doesn't, well, or does it? The valve stem is actually sucked up inside. Yeah, it's on the other side of it. I wonder if we could, I want to try, so I want to at least try to see if we can put some air in these back tires. This is going to be like a, this is a clown car and this is going to be a complete clown act if this even works, but I want to try to shoot some air in these tires. Uh, we'd have to crank it. Dad would have to come over here and give it some gas, and one of us had to be inside of it to try to let off the clutch and see if she moves. The front ones are no hope, so we're hoping we can leave them on these dollies and at least go forward and back. So uh, let's try that out real quick. You want to go ahead and show our commercial? Yeah. Yeah, so while we're trying to get some air in these tires, 
Uh, <laughs> while we're trying to get some air in these tires, we're going to pop up a commercial real quick. And uh, that way, y'all don't have, we don't have to blow your eardrums out on that stuff. I want to see this thing move on its own power, so hopefully we can. Got the uh, valve stems on this one here, and the, uh, the tube's rotten in it, so the air's just, it's not staying in there at all. This one over here is uh, really hard to get at, but I'm going to bet they're all going to be the same, so. The only way you're going to get this one, you're going to have to take the wheel off. Yeah. Because it goes straight into the, the valve stem. At the hub. Sorry about that, guys. I don't want to take the wheel off, because you never know, we may have been having to, something break and use a, who knows what to make a new wheel. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me let it down on the ground and just see how much it collapses those tires. Just its own weight. Was, Christian, did you notice if this wheel was spinning? I didn't Not notice. Sure. I don't have a camera on that one. Well. Not this one terribly. still looks good. What does yeah. that one look like? It, it looks good. Yeah, I think it's, it's got good. that flat spot on it probably that from setting over the years. Can we turn it then so it at least doesn't start on that flat it, spot? It's not starting oh, okay. on it. Yeah, right. Very seldom do we get one that's got the flat spot on the top. Well, do we need it's to unplug on the bottom. GoPros? Or? I don't think so. We'll leave this one in here. Okay. Uh, I think we'll be good because okay. I'll just be going forward, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't hit my computer stuff. So okay. yeah, we're, uh, this is gonna be a little challenging. I'm gonna get inside there and hopefully figure out some way to set around. Basically, all I'm gonna be doing is pushing in on the clutch and putting it in gear and Dad's gonna be, uh, <laughs> well, you need Christian to help you to turn it over. Uh, if Christian could turn it up, just touch that yep. wire and you can rev it so Dad'll be like walking beside me. Uh, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. To rev it. Yeah, this is really getting a monkey to do work now. Well, the thing is, uh, we're not going to go far because we're. No, we're not going to mm -hmm. go far because we're going to run out of this. And I don't even know well, how well these are going to roll. The wheels are turned the wrong way. It may not work at all. All it's got to do is move, move an inch or less to move. I'm trying to get all these wheels turned straight. They're all flipped backwards, yeah. so they got to turn completely around the other way. There you go. All right, let me see if I can find a little bucket or something, maybe. <laughs> what can I sit on? Uh, 
Hey, we had that. Well, it'd be too heavy. What is it? I was gonna say we had that little work, rolling working chair thing. <laughs> now that might work. Yeah, it is pretty yeah, heavy. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I think if you'd fall through the floor. How about a? Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> How about a guest? Yes, Jack. <laughs> oh wow. Does it oh, get yeah. much more rigged than this? Uh, are you gonna have her to crank it or? Uh, I can. So the, the trick that I was seeing with it is you kind of just barely pull it out just a hair and then it'll crank and then. And then, then gas it. Yeah. Give her the beans. I need help. If you can kind of keep it at a kind of a little idle as, as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And be ready to pull that wire in case. Uh, this is going to be, see that thing right there? Mm-hmm. You're just going to reach over and you're going to. Touch Plank it on that and hold it. No, you're, gonna hold, you're just going to hold it against it until you hear it running. And then I'll take it off whenever it's Then just take it off and lay it down like that. Right, easy enough. Hang on. <laughs> Let me, uh, yeah, this, this thing here, I may be better off just to crouch. This is not the right seat for this car. Your gas seat's not too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, hang on. Did you go forward on the gears? Yes, I went straight forward. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Now, now it's the Bank. gold part. Touch that. Don't touch anything to anything else. So, so now you have can to turn I hold it, it this way? Yeah, so you have to hold it sideways uh, like that. That wire to the coil? Yep. You know, I'd be ready to pull it whenever okay. I yell at you. Are we ready? Yeah. Am I doing that right? No, you're going to scoot it over just a little bit more. <laughs> Got her in gear and stuff, but she's just uh, not. a little air in them tires would sure help. I don't know if these things have just some kind of like, oh, lost my mic. I don't know if they have just some kind of like a centrifugal style clutch back there or what they've got. Uh, but you guys did see it moving when we had it jacked up. But these cars don't weigh a lot, but with me sitting in there and then just the weight of the car, that is a lot on something that's just a little 12 horsepower <laughs> motor. So. Uh, but hey, I, th I feel like this video uh, has been a success, I guess you'd say. We did get her up and running and pretty much idling. You know, it probably just needs to be idled up a hair, ran a little bit longer, but we don't want to run it too long and it get hot without that fan on it. So I guess, <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah. I wasn't expecting this. So yeah. uh, I guess we can wrap that up. We may hop on a couple comments real quick. We don't get a chance to do that a whole lot, so we're only an hour and... 15 minutes into this so uh, Christian was able to help out a little bit on starting yeah. this so she sees us do it all the time but when she's actually the one sparking stuff across probably saw me jump whenever it sparked <laughs> <laughs> yep I think if we had a little air in the tires it would it would try to move but mm -hmm. I mean what's these little uh, whatever you want to call them casters or casters. whatever they're hard to push around anyways with those wheels being that little. If we had something with bigger wheels, it's easier to spin. Uh, it could be a lot to do with that. So, Yep. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we'll close it out. Christian, we haven't really th mentioned about the merch yet. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. 
If any of you guys, we had a lot of people order merch last night, so if any of you guys are interested, uh, just go to www.be-restore.com. We've got three different uh, selections of styles available. Uh, that, that shirt right there, which is our original restore, says be restored up front with the tie-dye flag and the, our logo on the back. And we've also got the old Betsy shirts on that 67 Mercury wagon that we revived. Uh, pretty cool old car, and we had Micah Doodle do the artwork on that. Uh, really like those shirts, and they've got great colors for just a spring print design. And then, of course, uh, one of my favorites is we got our Uncle Frankie shirts. Uh, I, I noticed that's what I was wearing because I was right on the GoPro inside there. So, uh, my Uncle Frankie, when we rescued the vehicles out of the swamp, we've got those shirts as well. So, we do have stickers that I'm not sure that we've got posted up there, uh, and some magnets we need to get posted and stuff like that. But, uh, just kind of got letting you guys know, and thanks for everybody that has already ordered them. Uh, if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time watching, uh, we'd appreciate if you would be interested in subscribing to the channel. Uh, give the video a like. Check out part one if you haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> We've got some more edited videos that are mm -hmm. not quite so rough and raw so yeah we do have some edited videos including a great one on one of the best ones we've ever done on this Volkswagen behind us so that'll be out the end of May it's about an hour long video uh, start to finish on the car from where we found it which was not in a good spot uh, to completely revived and restored and and she's come alive <laughs> yeah so uh, new suspension lowered the car new paint uh, rebuilt motor whole nine yards so yeah. where's Bogota and do y'all have any casinos well, Bogota's yeah. in northeast Texas and about the only gambling around here is what we do when we try to get one of these things running <laughs> yeah. uh, Grant Oklahoma uh, is about 30 45 minutes away they've got a casino there so but no we don't have anything here right, Texas doesn't not in have Texas casinos. No. Cancinos, casinos um, so someone said, whatever happened to the Chevy car that y'all pulled out of the swamp? So that was my Uncle Frankie's car, and we still have that. We're going to be doing a, um, basically a, like a Will It Run style video on it uh, after this Volkswagen. So it's, uh, it's going to be a Purdue style video that's, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> it's going to be a Purdue style video, kind of like the Scout video was, our very first episode here. So about an hour long video that shows... Uh, you know, getting it running and hopefully driving. We don't want to do it live just because we want to be able to spend a little bit more time on it and something that we can kind of keep as a memory for forever. So, sitting down on the job. Well, my dad bought me this and he <laughs> hadn't seen us ever use it. And it's, it's not in the scene, but I am using it. <laughs> Someone said we need a shirt uh, made with with you sitting in the little clown car, Dad. Oh, that would be me. With my head because he, he could top. be like a giant. But in like a really small car, <laughs> be kind of cool. Next t-shirt with Izetta. So we're hoping our next t-shirt is going to be with Herb 2.0, the car in the background there. So um, really neat story on that car, really neat just theme. And we've, we've included Christian in this video a lot. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of hands on, including with paint, uh, brakes again. Uh, what else have we, have we got you on? So a little bit more on the, on the yeah. painting of doing logos and stuff like that. And, uh, a lot on the editing and all on the filming pretty much so she's got to where that's her favorite thing to do is do the edits and stuff so mm -hmm. so we're letting her do what she enjoys doing and making her have to get on screen so <laughs> someone said lost my mic so uh, yeah we lost your mic uh on the merch because my only my mic on I, I got you yeah so that's why i kind of stood a little closer to you randomly oh, okay <laughs> yeah you should have took over on it so i should have should have <laughs> That was, that was your job wanna, anyways. I didn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, Henry G. Yeah, Frank, Uncle Frankie's video was, uh, it'll pull on the heartstrings pretty hard. Uh, it was a, a rough video. Uh, part of it I didn't even get to see Lance and Christian film because uh, they, they had just taken that, that split second to film one, one little spot in there, and it was uh, really moving, so. Uh, Jeff RG said, where did Lance learn mechanics? So uh, hopefully you're not basing that off of these live yeah. will it run videos because a lot of the times we just have to rig stuff and, and to be honest with you, I'm not going to say that I'm a, I'm a mechanic. I, I'm a body, paint and body guy, but I've, I've learned to work on cars because I had to because I didn't have the money to and I needed to figure out go-karts, um, old motorcycles, dirt bikes, stuff like that. 
and just, you know, having a car that breaks down and say, hey, I, I got to figure this out. So and that's what we do. And dad, you know, dad's taught me what he knows. And uh, his dad was a mechanic. And I'm sure, you know, his dad taught him what he knew. And uh, it's kind of just been passed down what we've got. So Craig you know. Allen said, is that mo camera moving or is it my eyes? <laughs> now, we actually have it on a slider. I think he's the first one to notice. I think it's probably because Dad's a little closer yeah, to Yeah, so now, it looks so like yeah. Dad's just rolling It looks like he's right. like, on, like yeah. on the lazy river. Yeah. I've seen Richard Williamson asked if any restored uh, hat's coming soon. I don't know if he's seen the one like what you've got on. Yeah, this is an it's, old it's hat. It's dirty, so. but yeah, we do have some restored caps, but we don't have any any new. Well, I guess we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We have this one in a, in a green design. Yeah, so. kind of like. Uh, It'll match the old Betsy and Uncle Frankie shirts. Yep. So. Yep. So we got those and a couple. We're we're still wanting to do the badge hats. Just haven't uh, haven't been able to get that worked out quite yet. So. What about the burnout T-shirt? Yeah. Uh, we Micah Doodle is supposed to be drawing that up for for Christian doing mm -hmm. the burnout. So I need to touch base with him. Uh, I know that guy stays busy just like we do, right. so uh, he may just hadn't had a chance to get around to it. May have forgot about it. I honestly, I forgot about it too, <laughs> we kind of so. forgot about it as well. So we'll touch base with him on that and uh, see how that's going. But yep, that Pacer video with her doing the burnout, uh, we talked about doing shirts on that as well. So, but uh, how many people we got uh, from the different? So we still got some people on Facebook watching from the Alt Driver page. So thank y'all for hanging out. Mm -hmm. uh, not really sure what our next video is going to be on these live revival videos, do we? Uh, they can sometimes spur of the moment. This one was yeah. like the day before yesterday mm -hmm. we pulled it in here. And uh, had we known what we know now, yeah, <laughs> we would have had a rubber band handy. But yeah, but I mean, it's running. Yeah. It's yeah. revived. It's running, and I just knew it was going to move. It's, it's. It, I was, I guess I got out and I was like, I wasn't expect. I thought there was a mouse. There's a big old mosquito <laughs> <Not> <laughs> flying low to the ground. Uh, I thought she'd move, but I think it's just it's too much for that little motor with mm -hmm. flat tires and on these casters. I mean, so maybe if we was going downhill. Yeah, you should have gave me a little push. <laughs> a lot of things working against us. I mean, Dad's back there giving it gas. The mm -hmm. clutch doesn't feel like it really is working that well, mm -hmm. and then, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> and the motor back there doing a little. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up. With I, that. I'd seen some people asking about this car. Uh, more than likely, we we'll probably will end up selling this car. Uh, we'll probably list it on eBay, and open it up to a larger category of people. To to you know, these these things are popular all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, open us up to some a few international people maybe through eBay and stuff like that. So if we do, we'll post it on our restored Facebook page. Uh, where you guys can follow along and kind of see uh, see what happens with her and stuff like that. But yep. get her running a little better. And probably probably give them the spare parts that we had left yeah. over in that bag. Yeah. Get some mini bike tires. We bought those last ones for a couple hundred bucks. White walls, they look cool. Yep. Throw them on there. And, uh, yeah, if you buy the actual ones oh, yeah. that go on it, they're exp you can buy four of them mini bike tires for what, what it costs you for one yep. uh, Isetta tire. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. Uh, thank all of y'all for, for making it to part two. Thank all of y'all that are watching it after it's not live anymore. Uh, and thank all of y'all that were patient and hung out with watching part one as well. If you haven't seen part one, it's worth the watch. Uh, it was very challenging and uh, just taught me a lot to, you know, uh, trust God in all things and don't, don't put things in yourself. So mm -hmm. Let go and let God. That's right. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. So I think when we both heard the, the little points spring break, we both just... It was discouraging, it was yeah, discouraging. when you're was, 10, yes. 15 minutes into the video and, you, and the points break in half and you know you don't have one part for this yeah. car and there's no one around here you can even get some for, nothing you can steal it off of. So, yeah, it's kind of like... Uh, we're 15 minutes into this live video. What do we do now? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, a lot of y'all just enjoy hanging out as well, do we? So we're, yeah. we're trying to uh, just stay focused on that. A uh, lot of familiar names. Thanks, Restoration. Thank, thanks, Nate. Uh, Eugene, all you guys that have been here, Coastal Auto Reaction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank all you guys for the support. Luke, uh, I hope you're doing really good in that. Uh, missed you last. I think you were on. Uh, what's that called last night? Uh, the with the old car guy, and I think he was a special guest on there last yep. night. We missed it because we were doing this, but yeah, y'all uh, be sure to go check out his channel as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of cool automotive content out there on yep. the, on the web. So yep. yeah, yeah, hit him up, like him, 
you know, he's got some good stuff out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. subscribe, all that good stuff. So thank y'all so very much. God bless y'all. Y'all have an awesome weekend. And uh, I'm excited for the next one. So yeah. last night might have been a different story. But yeah. <laughs> thank all you guys. We will see you later.